let's move on to another subject, and that's um, sort, of, sort of financial statements, sim simplification of disclosure. What's your expectation? Uh, the SEC has is indicated it wants to move forward in this. What's your uh, expectation for that? Well, that's another big daunting issue, right? Every 10 years or so, the SEC announces that they want to have a disclosure, a disclosure review, disclosure simplification, disclosure overhaul. Um, you know, let's start with a clean sheet of paper and see what it might look like. And of course, you can't do that. Uh, I am enthusiastic that uh, Keith Higgins uh, uh, in Corp Fin is taking this seriously. Um, again, an area where FEI has shown a lot of leadership. The CAQ and FEI and others have been working together to come up with uh, what we call low-hanging fruit that the SEC could implement now without any rulemaking that could help mm -hmm. uh, simplify disclosures around the margins. Right. But, uh, I mean, this is something that Mitch and I discussed at length yesterday. Um, and, and that is, you know, what is the purpose of these disclosures? Right now, they're not communication tools. They are legal tools or compliance tools. And so if that is what your objective is, you're going to have a much different set of disclosures than you are if a company is trying to tell their story to potential clients, customers, or investors. And so, you know, where's that disclosure? Where is that communication? And how does that mesh with the required disclosures that have become very much a legal compliance issue where your lawyers are the ones who are writing those, those, those disclosures for you? And, you know, I am a recovering securities lawyer, so um, I'll take that shot at the legal community. Um, and, and again, it's not that the lawyers are trying to do it to make money, to generate money, although some of them are making money, but large companies have in-house teams that do that. But it just takes um, so much work to comply with the disclosure rules, and, and what is our purpose for that? Who's benefiting from that? I, I'm going to guess companies don't think that they are necessarily, unless it helps them right. get, you know, defend against a suit, but is that getting to their customers and their clients and their investors? I, I don't know that that's all that helpful to those people. 